So, it is October already. I cannot believe 2018 has gone by so fast, but uh, obviously, this month, we are going to be getting the brand new Halloween Fortnite Nightmares update. And in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and compile all the information that you guys needed to know, not only for the brand new update that is going to be dropping very, very soon, but also, we might be seeing the Skull Trooper and the Gold Trooper return. We got some brand new leaks, and I wanted to go over everything in this video just to kind of help you all out and kind of get ready for this month because not only has season six been lit so far but it's about to get pretty freaking crazy man real quick before we get into today's video i want to go ahead and let you guys know that we are going to be giving away some more battle passes i literally have so many codes that i've yet to give away so if you need some v bucks not only for the brand new battle pass but for the the brand new Halloween skins that are gonna be dropping soon let me know in the comments down below also go ahead and drop a like a subscribe and like I said leave a comment down below let me know in the comments down below your epic username Xbox PSN whatever console you are on also let me know if you need the brand new season 6 battle pass or if you just need some V bucks for the brand new Halloween skins let me know in the comments down below and let's go ahead and get into today's video like i said we have so much to go over with the brand new halloween event but before we get into that i feel like we need to go over a few things that have been kind of going on around the fortnite map uh, some of these are actively happening right now and some other ones are actually easter eggs that kind of tie in to a bigger story behind the season six halloween event first and foremost i'm sure everyone watching this video is aware the floating island is now actually going around the map not only is it floating around the map but it is going to every single spot on the map where there is actually a rune there's already a little bit of aftermath i guess you can say from where the island went to the rune but pretty much the island is going to go over every single rune on the map uh, the cube is kind of draining the power from the rune thus creating a ton of little volcanic bounce pads hey yo huge shout out to my boy pack a puncher by the way that the volcanoes are here not only does it make the bouncers but it also literally pulls the rune out of the ground kind of creating another island it's really cool make sure you guys check it out uh, one thing that you may not actually know about these events though is that you actually aren't able to watch it live uh, for some reason the tornado and the island i guess are too big of an object to move live in the game so in order to actually see it move you have have to restart your game like you have to be in a fresh new game after the island is actually moved just a heads up to anybody out there that was in playgrounds like myself <laughs> trying to see this thing move you actually can't do that now before we get into all of the brand new information regarding the brand new halloween party events i want to go ahead and go over something really quick that has kind of been bugging me over the past couple of days just in and out of leveling and playing season six i have found a a lot of different easter eggs around the map and at the beginning of the season i was convinced that the theme was going to be of a halloween party not only is it october not only is it time for halloween but fortnite literally tweeted in one of the teasers about a party in season six it was like get ready to party or something along those lines well like i said at first i thought that the season's theme was going to be that of a halloween party and now that i've found a lot of different easter eggs around the map i'm kind of convinced there's more of a storyline here which if we can figure out this storyline it'll help us out just a little bit in finding out what this halloween party is really going to entail for those of you that haven't seen it there actually is a house over by paradise it looks like it's on like a very small farm kind of what the first battle pass loading screen looks like not only this but behind the house there are actually actually gravestones for two people of a family two members of a family not really sure who this family is but i don't think it's too far to guess this is calamity's house and at the beginning of the season we were kind of guessing that calamity is going to be a cowgirl instead i think she is a vampire hunter and not only is this her house but the dust the vampire skin from later on in the battle pass i think this vampire actually 
literally killed the two people that died that are buried outside of this little small farm house. This is one of the many puzzle pieces of the season six storyline that not only myself, but my friends around me have been trying to figure out over the past couple of days. Another puzzle piece to this huge storyline would be that the big bad wolf and little red riding hood are literally in the battle pass as well not only this but around the map there are actually tiny little one by one houses and they're literally houses you can go inside them and sometimes there will be freaking three chests each one is wood brick and metal kind of signifying the three little piggies as well the big bad wolf i'll blow your house down i don't know man there's so many different things that are going on in this battle pass i've been trying to think and trying to connect all these different puzzle pieces that i just gave you guys over the past couple of days and honestly i haven't really been able to do much uh, what i need you guys to do or anyone just watching this video let me know in the comments down below obviously you can drop a like subscribe and comment down below to enter into the giveaway but let me know as well in the comments down below what do you think is going on is all of these things just random easter eggs or is there some kind of bigger theme going on right now to lead in to the Halloween party. Now, you guys might think I'm nuts. You guys might think I'm crazy for talking about Easter eggs around the map. They're just Easter eggs. But there's one thing that you might have seen, uh, you know, while running around the map going for these victory royales that you may not have even realized is a map Easter egg. And it could be tied in directly with the Halloween party. It started out at a fatal, uh, you know, when season six first started there was three ghosts hanging from some kind of wooden post around the farm i'll put some gameplay on the screen obviously but these ghosts have actually been there since the very start and every other day every couple of days six season six has actually started we have seen different halloween decorations pop up around the map now normally this would not be that big of a deal fortnite are known to actually put different things for different seasons in the game but this is actually happening every couple of days which is why it makes it so important fortnite are literally adding new things into the map every couple of days instead of every week so we can kind of take these things and use them as teasers for what we're going to be getting later on this month which is what this entire video is leading into the brand new fortnite mares events for those of you that may not have been playing fortnite battle royale that long last year in october literally one month after the game came out we got our first major update the 1.8 update it came out on october 25th of 2017 this update was for the fort nightmares event i lasted a couple of weeks i think it was two weeks uh, correct me if i'm wrong but it introduced the first insane loading screen and not only that the brand new skull trooper and gold trooper skins now obviously it's a year later and they're not really brand new right now but they are the most sought after skins in the game like obviously there's the christmas skins and the galaxy and the royale bomber but you gotta be real if you see a skull trooper or a gold trooper in the game it kind of tells you you know they've been playing for a super long time don't mess with them man don't play any games kill them knock them get them down as fast as you can guys they're the ghost like the skull trooper and the gold trooper are the freaking goat skins man now where are we going with this what are we talking about this for why do you guys care about the brand new fort nightmares event the brand new halloween party in fortnite battle royale well because it's coming soon and like i said earlier in the video fortnite are literally teasing it right now with all of these brand new halloween decorations popping up all over the map also if you didn't know there actually is a whole whole halloween costume halloween party store as well so like if we're gonna have a halloween party where are we gonna go to get some decorations that's right the halloween store there's no reason for fortnite to be adding in these things if there wasn't gonna be a halloween party coming very soon and if we look at the fort nightmares event from last year it came out on october 25th oh and uh what day is october 25th the uh, this year it's on a thursday one of the days one of the two days that we normally get updates in fortnite battle royale
yeah, uh, normally we get an update on a Tuesday or Thursday, and obviously it's looking like it's a Thursday this year. Let me know in the comments down below what you all think. Uh, do you think the Skull Trooper and the Gold Trooper are going to be coming back? I obviously do. I mean, they brought back the Red Knight. There's so many different skins that we thought were like OG and were super rare skins in the game, and Fortnite literally just threw them back in the item shop. So I don't know, man. I think the Skull Trooper and the Gold Trooper and also the Reaper Axe are definitely going to be returning. But I want to know what you think about the brand new Halloween party update in the comments down below. Also, don't forget you can enter into the giveaway for some free V-Bucks, not only for the free battle pass, but the brand new skins as well. Just drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. My name is Incredilag, and I'm out. Peace!